What's up guys, Morcoin here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Phantom Wallet on Solana. Let's get into it. First, head over to phantom.app, then select the Add to Chrome button. I believe it works on other browsers like Brave and Mozilla as well. In the Chrome Web Store, select the Add to Chrome button. Once it's done downloading, it will bring you to this page and ask if you would like to create a new wallet or recover one using your recovery phrase. Today, we're going to create a new wallet. Next, you will see your recovery phrase. I cannot stress enough how important it is to keep these words safe. They are the backdoor key into your wallet and anyone who has them will control your funds. Once you have these words accurately copied and you're sure you have them stored somewhere secure, click OK. I saved it somewhere. Then create your password and select I agree to the terms of service once you've thoroughly read them through. Because I know everyone always reads the terms of service. This is a keyboard shortcut that I have never used and probably won't ever use. But still, if you're in a rush and can't be bothered to move your mouse the three inches it would take to click the extension, then I guess it might be useful. And that's it. You're officially the owner of a phantom wallet. If you go up to the top right corner of the screen and click on your extension button, you can pin the wallet to your browser bar for quick access. Next, you need to send some soul to your wallet from your preferred on-ramp. I personally use Coinbase Pro, but that's only because I already had a Coinbase account. Once you have soul in your wallet, the first thing you notice at the top is your total dollar value. I love this feature because as soon as I open my wallet, I know three things. The current value of all the assets in my wallet combined, the increase or decrease in dollar value over the last 24 hours, and the increase or decrease in percent value in the last 24 hours. When you click receive, it allows you to decide if you want to receive funds directly from FTX exchange or from another Solana address. When you select send, you can choose what asset you would like to send. By selecting an asset, it will bring you to the next page where you input the address and the amount you plan to send. This little at symbol in the side of the address tab lets you input addresses from your address book. If you select soul from the main area, it will bring you to this page that will give you a breakdown of how much soul you have and its current value in USD. You can also stake your soul on this page by clicking here. This page will allow you to choose a validator and stake your soul. Currently, you can earn up to 10% a year in Seoul by staking. I'm not going to cover staking in detail right now, but if you want me to, let me know in the comments. These four squares at the bottom of your wallet are the collectibles tab. If you're into NFTs, this is where you can store them. One of the features I like the most about this wallet is the swap feature built into it. Depending on what you're swapping from, your options on what you can swap to will change. The fees though are almost non-existent and it's a convenient way to swap to and from stable coins at a moment's notice without having to go to a DEX. Lightning Bolt is just your recent activity fee. The cog is your settings tab. Here, you can add addresses to your address book, configure your trusted apps, change your password, and change the auto lock timer so that it doesn't lock you out every 15 minutes. Back on the home page, if you select manage tokens, you can add tokens that aren't currently in your wallet, as well as hide tokens you don't want to see in your wallet. And that's it. Those are the basics for using the Phantom Wallet. Are you exploring the Solana ecosystem? What dApps would you recommend? Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you in the next video and we'll keep talking about getting more coins.